What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. Chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. Talking about the next Xbox One backwards compatible games. Could be these highly requested titles. Let's get into this. It looks like Xbox One backwards compatible games have just been revealed. Microsoft launched a new page for its Black Friday sale that lists off discounted Xbox 360 games that are playable on the Xbox One. Elder Scrolls 4, Oblivion, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Let's get into this. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 features a new mode called Survival. Now, this mode allows between one and two players to fight endless waves of enemies, with each wave becoming increasingly difficult. It differs from the Nazi zombies in Call of Duty World at War. Now, enemies no longer spawn at fixed locations like zombies do, but instead appear at tactical positions based on the current location of the player. Now, this is the third of the Modern Warfare series, came out in 2011. Honestly, I actually pretty much enjoyed Modern Warfare 3. I didn't play it much, but it was overall a good game, and I know people have been requesting this for ages, so it's about time they have finally listened to the fans and brought in Modern Warfare 3. By the way, I love JT Machinima's version. Like, they did a song about it, loved it. All right, next up is The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Now, Oblivion is a role-playing game that incorporates open-end gameplay. The player can follow side quests, interact with NPCs, dispatch monsters, develop their character, and travel anywhere in the province of Cradrill at any time. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong while playing the game, provided that some areas are not quest-specific and otherwise inaccessible when not questing. The game never ends, and the player can continue playing after completing the main quest. The gameplay includes a fast travel system, which in I well, basically, you can fast travel to any location you automatically used to go to. All right. Now, this is actually really cool because a part of this, the story begins when the player is imprisoned in a cell for an unknown crime. Now, the Emperor, accompanied by the Imperial bodyguards known as the Blades, arrive in the prison, fleeing from assassins who have murdered the Emperor's three sons and are now targeting them. The Emperor and the Blades reveal that the player's cell was actually a secret entrance. Now, you follow him into the underground sewer. Now, that is where they come under attack by the assassins. All but one of the Blades are cut down in the fighting that ensures, knowing he is destined to die by the hands of the assassin. One of the guys named Uriel entrusts the player with the Amulet of Kings worn by the Septum Emperors of Tarmorel and orders the player to take it to the man named Joffrey, the Grand Master of the Blades. Now, that's basically how the story starts. No lie, this is actually pretty cool. I've heard a lot of good things about Oblivion, like a lot of good things, and I might actually check it out myself. All right, y'all, thanks again for watching. By the way, I'm playing Dragon Ball Universe 2. I'm playing as Frieza's Race. Peace out and talk to you. Later.